My first guest tonight is a comedian and an actor. Now, when does that ever happen? Come on! A comedian and an actor? Pick a side, for God's sakes! <laughs> He's in a new show, Mike and Molly, which premieres on Monday, September the 9th, uh, 20th. I meant to say 20th, but I said 9th because I'm very high. <laughs> Monday, September the 20th, this show, Mike and Molly, will premiere, which means that's the first time it'll ever be shown in France. <laughs> premiere. And it'll be right here on CBS, CBS Cares. Take a look at this. Please welcome Billy Gardell, everybody, Billy Gardell. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good, man. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah, and your show looks very. You, do you do you play a cop in this new show? I wasn't sure. Well, I'm a fat guy in Hollywood. I play a cop in everything. I do. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, that's if you're heavy in Hollywood. You're you know you're the bad guy or the cop. You know, you either bring them to me or your kids get out of here. Or sometimes you're the neighbor. You go, Frank, she's gonna kill both of us. You know. So. <laughs> So um, I play a cop in this one, and I'm 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 just grateful to have the. What gig. kind of hat is that? What cop? That's not an LA. Very cop. big. No, 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 no. I know it's a big hat. I mean, what what city is there? Chicago. The Chicago, checkerboard is all have, Chicago. Because yes. you know that Glasgow policemen, where I grew up, have hats like that. No, I did not. Yeah, they have hats that are exactly like that. So I didn't right. know. And when I saw it, I thought oh, it made me kind of nervous. Right. And then I thought, why? Because you're familiar with the glass. Yeah, yeah, really. because I thought, this is a glass. I've read the book. I know. Right, yeah, right. so you know, every time I see a Glasgow <laughs> cop, I'm like, Because oh, uh, uh. they would make you wash your hands. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you know that kid that was in that, in that thing? He's been on this show. He has? Yeah. Just yeah. from that scene? No, no, I don't know if it was. <laughs> he was on the show, though, wasn't he? He was. Well, we have a picture of him on the show. Well, then show that to him for proof. There he is. Like, see? Yeah, and I was like, that, that he, he, nasty little bastard, as I remember. <laughs> well, he got on here before I did. That's yeah, yeah. Good. No, I tell you, when he was here, I had him, I had, I had him use the... Uh, you had yeah, a thing going on? Yeah, sure, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. We met before, of course. You were friends with my friend Lenny. That's right. Yeah, yeah. How'd you know Lenny? Uh, I was hitchhiking, and he picked me up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's uh, a nasty little bastard yeah, as well. Yeah, I don't like Lenny? him at all, yeah. Do you know he's got that uh, vinegar business? He sells That's how I know him, actually. Oh, really? From the vinegar well, business? Well, I'm a fat guy. I'm going to find food. That's right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that a special that's skill okay. that you have? It's like uh, you know, when, when blind yeah. people start to hear yes, better, yes. it's like when you get fat, you go, hang now on, pizza, that's, three o'clock. That's exactly yeah. right. I put my ear to the road. I know how far away they are. Yeah. Are you, uh, have you always been heavy? Yeah, yeah, and it's funny because, you know, you, I, I got this job on Mike and Molly, which I'm just so grateful for. I mean, yeah, actually, uh, the, buzz, the buzz around Hollywood is it's awesome. Yeah, well, that and two bucks will get you right on a subway. Right, but, right okay. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Very hey, nice done. Chris Hardwick took thank all that you. money I gave him earlier. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> wow! Anyway, sorry, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm grateful to have the gig, man, you know, and I just, uh, yeah, I've always been a big kid, you know what I yeah. mean? You know, you, you... You big at school? Did the kids tease you? Well, I didn't get here because everybody liked me, yeah. You no, know I, mean? I, yeah. I, I the, the people weren't mean well, to no, you, surely I mean, you're not allowed to be mean. I grew up a fat kid with crooked teeth and glasses, there wasn't a lot of options. <laughs> get funny or cry a lot. Tears of a clown? Are you are you sad, depressed man when uh, you're not? No, you're... these days I'm pretty happy, man. I mean, I'm 41, I'm fat, and I'm going to work at Warner Brothers every day, so. Yeah. That's, that's I, where we did the Drew Carey show. That's right. I was an extra in one of those shows. Really? Yeah. The, I only wanted to be an extra once, and it was the episode you guys had Joe Walsh on. Yeah, but yeah, we had even on quite a lot. I just wanted to be an extra in there and watch Joe Walsh jam in there, which was really cool. And uh, were you there for that one? I was. Yeah. He's pretty good, Joe. Yes, he's very good. Yes. He's in the Eagles, you know. I'm not sure he knows where he's at, but he's very No, good. no. He knows these days. Yeah. I think he didn't know for a long time yeah. and suddenly he went, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think he was scared straight on the Drew yeah. Carey show. I think that was like, oh, I'm on a sitcom. <laughs> well, he killed uh, it that day. It was yeah, cool. no, he's a very, very talented man. He might go far with his guitar. You think? Thing. Yeah, he it's might the future. Do Yeah, I don't know. A couple diddies. You know, fingers crossed. If he gets in with a cute kid like Bieber, he'll right. be good. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
Or that little bastard that was on here with the red hair. You know the guy. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you're a stand-up then, yeah? I am a stand-up comic. Yeah? Yes, sir. And uh, did, uh, for 20 years. You ever done the uh, the comedy works in Denver? I have. I like that place. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Because it's the only place I like playing in Denver because it's in a basement. Right. And Denver's a very high up at altitude. Yeah, but that's you, what But then you get me. a little bit back yeah. down again if you're in the yeah. basement. And yeah. But that, that altitude kills me. That's in Denver. bad. That's, well, especially in my way. It's like, did you hear the one? <laughs> kind of ruins your time. In a I world. don't know. I, I think it sounds kind of sexy. Yeah. Do you like that? Do yeah, like I, did. I did. <sighs> oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. Uh, Thank you. And uh, get yourself something. We're building something. now. Get, 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 I'm going to get myself something pretty. Get, get yourself something pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, uh, I have this same system at my house, but it's for my son. He's seven. Oh, yeah? I give him a buck, him? buck every time I swear. So if me and the wife really go at it, I just give him a five and go, go in your room for a little while. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Are you still doing the stand-up? You still going? I am. It? Yeah, absolutely. I I, uh, I just finished an hour-long special uh, for Comedy Central, which will be out in February, and I was yeah. lucky enough to get the break on Mike and Molly. And uh, when does that start? September uh, the twentieth. The same yeah, jokes yeah, yeah. that were eighteen bucks. You're going to be thirty-five, so that's nice. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know, you, know you, you learn a lot more money now you're in the prime much, time. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm on Let's Make a Deal. Uh, well, should I, I don't give know. You, hang on, hang on, hang on. Should I give you on. something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's saying he'll give you ten more dollars. No deal. That doesn't make any sense. No, it's no, not. No, no, no. Would you ever do that? Because a lot of comedians what? do that, the quiz shows. Did you ever host a quiz show? No. Game show? No, I wouldn't go on a reality show. Um, I never, that's, no, that's, that's a different thing. That's a different thing. Uh, um, I, uh, I t they, <laughs> they, they, uh, my agent called me one time and said uh, they wanted me for that uh, celebrity fit club, which I'm not a celebrity. I mean, I've done enough stuff that people see me at the grocery store and they go, were you on TV or did you fix our toilet? I, I right, know right, you. Right, you right. know what I mean? So they called me with that VH1 celebrity fit club and I told them, not until I'm ready to throw the Hail Mary in my career am I going to do something. Right, like that. Yeah, I still yeah. was holding out that there might be a part for... Does, do you think that's bad really for was. your career if you uh, uh, lost a lot of weight? I don't know. A lot of people going, you know, well, if, what do you mean? It, it would be bad for my career if I lost weight? Yeah, maybe. I don't I just don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, you know I find I mean? this very refreshing. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Look, man, you, you rarely find, you know... Yeah, you gotta have a little damage. Everybody has a little something. That's the beauty of this show, you know. It's it's, well, it's a show you can watch that you go, I, I know those people, or I look better than those people. You don't have... <laughs> I'm serious. You don't have to look at it and go, I'm never gonna look like that. Even if I eat celery and throw up for three months, I'm never gonna look like that. <laughs> you see me on TV, you go, yeah, things yeah, ain't yeah, so yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you did very well, Billy. Uh, all right, I wish you good luck with the show, and uh, if it's a... Uh, By the no way, i got to tell you a couple things. First what? of all, thank you so much. I was nervous when I came out here. This is my first talk show ever. Shut up. Yeah. yeah like, like you didn't know. I'm in the back room. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, in that case... I want to say thank you. No, you're welcome, but uh, I'm afraid that, that Listen, I have I'll to give take the money back. Wait, wait, okay, no. okay. <laughs> All right, but but for half of that money, will you do me a big favor? Can my Aunt Judy yeah. adores you. Will you say hi to Aunt Judy? Please? Do you do that? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Uh, is that a 20? That's a 20. All right. Hit Aunt Judy with all a lot. Right, right. where, where is that? Where she, is she? She's in Orlando. Orlando. She loves you. All right. Was it her birthday? No, she's just a fan. She just wants me to say hi to She loves Judy. you. All right. Hi, Aunt Judy. You're not my aunt. You know why. <laughs> you know why you're not my aunt. Take it off. Thank you. No, 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 no. I was asking for more money. I'm gonna have to get back. No, no, it's all right. It's all, right. <laughs> all right. Hi, Aunt Judy. Uh, Billy Cardell, everybody. Mike and Molly, everybody.
Hello, young lady. What's your name? Judy. Judy. That's a lovely, that's a lovely sort of auntie name. <laughs> Do you know, when one of the CBS stars, Billy Cardell from Mike and Molly, was here the other night, he said, hey, can you wave to my Aunt Judy? That wouldn't be you by any chance, would it? It would. <gasps> what? Aunt Judy, if you were here, wouldn't you like to wave to Billy? I would like to wave to Billy. <laughs> Have you noticed that Billy has become a complete jackass since he became famous? I haven't noticed. Oh, no, it's beginning. He oh, he's probably same. hiding it from you, but... <laughs> Those of us who've known him for less time have noticed he's become a complete bastard since he's... <laughs> Where are you from, Judy? Originally Pittsburgh, but now Orlando. Oh, nice. You, that's nice. Steelers? Steelers? <laughs> I, I have to do that. I know, I understand. I'm originally from, from Europe. Go, Brits. Go, uh, <laughs> go abroad. <laughs> mm. So, um, so you got to say hi to Billy. Are you visiting Billy? Uh, hi, for, we are. Have you been to the Mike and Molly set? Yes. No. <laughs> it's probably better than this, isn't it? Uh, no. <laughs> thinking I know what you're thinking you're thinking Craig can I get my aunt on the show <laughs> yes yes you can just send a letter or an email or a fax or a, a pigeon with something tied to its foot send that to Jay Leno at the Tonight Show and, and Jay will pass it on to me <laughs> we have to take a break, but when we come back, this show is going to be so cataclysmically crap <laughs> that you're going to want to say, I, I saw it that night. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hey, Mr. Jeffrey Pearson. Hey, what's happening in Tweetland, Craig? <laughs> I don't know. Look at that jingle! Twitter. Yeah! Fleeting. Fleeting. Ephemeral. Ephemeral. Fleeting. Fleeting. Flugan web. Face code. Twit. So. Ask mode. Jigs a tweet. 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 And also emails. And also emails. when you come... That's Secretariat. Uh... I swept up two bucks. Oh. Do you sweep up? Is that what they're making you do? You got the hit, you got the hit show now. You're the big print... show. You know how CBS is. Yeah, Thank I know. You. Yeah. Actually, I do know. Here's another one. Thank you. Yeah. That's why he gets the big bucks. <laughs> Thanks, John. I hate that guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, I was just about to do the, the, the emails and the tweeties. You want to... Um... I would love to. Yeah, okay. Indeed. Oh, that's adorable. How about that? That's such a coincidence that you should be here. It was neat. Yeah, and you were sweeping up after a horse that... Right. He doesn't poo that often. No. <laughs> but when he does, they're strangely human. It's... it's... <laughs> It's got like a furball quality yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Like little um, <laughs> hamsters. 
Uh, right, this is uh, from Russell in Concord, New Hampshire. You ever been there? Uh, ever been to New Hampshire? You no. Like, you never been there? Never been. Oh, it's great. Live free or die. You can just run around with your gun. It's awesome. Serious? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, you know what the irony about New Hampshire is they got the live free or die thing written mm -hmm. on the, uh, the plates, the number plates for the car, right. and convicts have to do it. <laughs> but if it says live free or die, is that really a choice of freedom? Shut up. Oh. <laughs> All right, then that's from Russell in Concord, New Hampshire. I mean, really, that's a... I don't know. Is it a choice? See, live sounds free like or an order. Well, how can that be freedom? Let's get back to the All right, yeah. Uh, Russell in Concord, New Hampshire says, Hey, Craig, and, and Billy as well. He, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, he says, My office is having a weight loss contest and I don't care to participate. How do I tell them I'm not interested? Well, you sit in the middle of the office, eat a box of donuts and cry. <laughs> do the thing with your hand. Do the thing. CBS cares. This is from Elizabeth in Jersey City in New Jersey. You must have been there. No. You've never been to Jersey? I've been to Jersey. I've been to Teaneck, New Jersey. Teaneck? Yes. i never even heard of it. Yeah. Is that short for something? No, it's just a little gig that had a, a, a bar and there was a free tab, and so I told some jokes. You see anything wrong with that? That seems yeah. perfectly reasonable. <laughs> Elizabeth says, uh, hi, Craig. I'm Billy. Uh... <laughs> My friend invited me on a road trip, but also asked me for gas money. Should I go with him? She's a girl. She's a girl. Wait, her friend invited... On a road trip. Okay, is he well, a guy? He, he's a guy. Okay. Well, wait, my friend... Uh, yeah, him, yes, he's uh. a guy. Um, so he's a guy, she's a girl, but he's asking her to pay for gas. She probably should, because it's ass, nah. cash, or grass, nah. so, but it's an <laughs> But on the other hand, if he can't afford gas, how nice is that trip really going to yeah, be? Yeah, that's true. He might be eating at a Stuckey's. Do Stuckey advertise on CBS? Mm. Well, they don't now, either. He looks forward to your letters. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Send all your used mattresses to Billy Gardell. <laughs> Did you, do you have any used mattresses lying around? Yeah, I got five or six at the house. <laughs> <laughs> Well, can you send them to Andy Rooney for me? Yeah, sure. Right. Absolutely. As soon as I get home. All right. Uh, this is uh, from Chris in Glencoe, Ontario, in Canada. You ever, ever, been, to, ever been to Canada? I have, indeed. Really? I, and I've, I've been to Toronto, which is cool. It's kind of like uh, someone took New York and dipped it in Lysol. It's very nice. <laughs> I've heard, I've heard mm -hmm. Toronto described as, and if you're in Toronto, you can't call it Toronto, because people in Toronto call it Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, right. Toronto. 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 Like, oh, Toronto. yeah, Toronto, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're so great. Yeah, just because they read books. They yeah, think yeah, all oh, we read books in Toronto. Yeah. Oh, look, I, I'd like to say tea, but I don't have time because I'm reading a book, so Toronto. Busy. Yes, yeah. I don't watch TV. Yeah, um, the, uh, but... I've heard Toronto or Toronto described as New York run by the Swiss. Right. And the weird thing is, yeah. there's a Swiss guy sitting in lesbian role tonight. <laughs> in the show, right on the lesbian role, there's a Swiss dude. What? He, he's, he's Swiss. You can't tell he's Swiss. That's their secret. <laughs> they all have that weird T-shirt with the cut. Yeah, they, they do wear that. that. that that's, you guys that... are against collars over there? Yeah, they is know, it? Yeah, yeah. With we, the V. You got the V. Yeah, yeah. We do, we wear ties in America, buddy. <laughs> you can't you can't threaten the you Swiss. Can't get mad at the Swiss. No, the Swiss are like tutti frutti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just leave. Yeah. Anyways, sorry about that. Oh no, man, he's he's sorry. He was surly. He was mumbling. Was Did you see surly? him? Yeah. <laughs> he was he was like yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how the Swiss are. Yeah. I don't, I don't he's know. sitting with all the girls. Yeah, but he's he's sitting in Lesbian Row. He's sitting in Lesbian Row. I didn't know you had that. Oh, yeah, we have Lesbian Row. Well, maybe he's a lesbian. <laughs> he's Swiss. He's probably a bit of both. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that seems fair. That's fair. Fun's fun. I, I look forward to your neutral letter. Yeah. Uh, all right, Billy. Uh, this is from uh, uh, and Chris in Ontario, Canada. Yes. He says, Dear Craig and Billy, can you read someone's personality from the kind of pizza they order? Well, there's a question. Do you, have you ever had a pizza, Billy? <laughs> I've 
perused the pizza yeah. before. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a fair question. I thought you might. Yeah, I think you can, man. Um, I think you can tell someone's personality from a pizza. All right, then. Well, well if I, like, I absolutely love pineapple chunks on my pizza. I think we're Not done really. talking, Craig. No. <laughs> Is it, it, I was just saying the opposite of what's true. Of course I don't right, like pie. Yeah, Come no. on, do Why I look like a this? gay Hawaiian? No. <laughs> See, uh, <laughs> what do you like on your pizza then? I like, I'm a straight cheese guy. I'm a purist. I like cheese. cheese. My son's the same way, just cheese. No pepperoni? No. No, you don't need a salad on your pizza. You don't okay, need nothing yeah, else yeah, on yeah, yeah. Cheese. Cheese, all right. A little, well, little bit enough. of salt. Because there's not enough sodium in the cheese. In the cheese, yeah, you need extra cheese. American or Swiss? It's very quick. It's very quick. Yeah, <laughs> that guy is so mad at me right now. Oh, he's, yeah. not, he's good. Right? No, he's, he's all good, right. right? You're okay, right? No. What else did you have to do today? You're good, right? He's, oh, fine. he's, no, he's, he's fine. fine. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> yeah, you... Hey, Billy, Billy! Oh, good idea, yeah! Very, very, there you go, no! Thanks, man. Sure. He was giving me the stink eye. Yeah, I saw uh, it. Uh, all right. I'll walk you to your car. All right, thanks, man. Uh, anyway, Grace in uh, Bridgeport, West Virginia. You ever been to West Virginia? Yes. Good. Uh, <laughs> Grace says, Dear Craig, I'm in college. I have two roommates that insist on playing the same annoying songs over and over again. I'm acting a bit, you know. Sure. Uh, very good. How do I get them to stop? Hide the music. <laughs> well, what, what if it's the iPod or the downloading the iTunes? It's not well, like the old days when you had the, you know, wax cylinder and you wind it up, man. Walk by there and just swipe a magnet over the top and go, I don't know what happened. <laughs> CBS, yeah. Excellent work. We're out of time, Billy. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah, you for right. having me. No, it's been great. You I were here, it. but I got to move on. I got to move on. Listen, I'll clean the car, too, before I leave. I swept up. I'll get the car washed. I know the rules. <laughs> Will you uh, take those pizza boxes out the back? Yeah. <laughs> and put pizza in them? I don't want to talk about that, Craig. <laughs> Billy Gardell, everybody. We'll be right back. Please welcome Billy Gardell, everybody. Billy Yeah, I'm good. It's good to see you. Good to see you. You're looking well. You wore a suit. I'm, I'm delighted. I wear a suit every time I'm in here. Yeah, I know. So do I, though. I can only come two more times because I only got two more suits. <laughs> then I'm out. Well, let's if we see. get picked up, then well, I'll come back. Well, the, show, the show's going to get picked up. So. Yeah, it's going to get picked up. What are you talking about? It's uh, a huge success. You never know. So, I, I, I don't know who this is. I've started to do yeah, this what guy. Is that? That's sort of no, scary. no. I don't know when I turned into this guy. What do you think? That's good. Go I on. like it. Yeah. It's a kind of like a gay Gilbert Godfrey. Right. Don't you think? Yes. It's kind of like, oh, what the hell is that? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Here, I'm looking at this. Your stand up. Yeah. yeah. How about, are you still going out doing stand up? I'm going out. I did. I've been doing stand up for 20 years. I'm going out on my tour, uh, starting yeah. after Mike and Molly rap in May. I'll be going to some casinos and some theaters. And it's amazing. I'm playing to full houses. It's yeah. the same jokes from 87, but now they're 25 bucks more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the power of TV, my yeah, friend. Uh, amen, brother. Yeah, you have you've been doing the comedy clubs for a long time. Yes, sir. Oh, you? Yes, sir. Did I... you uh, do you enjoy the uh, the chicken and uh, stuff that they have in the comedy clubs? I look at me. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think I've hit a chicken basket? Come on. <laughs> do you still? You I see. I still go and play a comedy club from time to time. I like. Yeah, yeah. it's a good place to work out now. You know. Yeah. And, and they don't mind giving you the nice spots now, which is. Well, you don't have to do three shows a night anymore. Exactly. Yeah. The, see, when you do three shows a night, the midnight show's horrible. You can't. I, I can't remember what I'm doing. I think, did I say this at the first show? Yeah. Does it matter? Why yeah. are we here? Plus, I hate myself. They, yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, since that midnight show, too, they just come in hating you. They're just mm -hmm. loaded. They drank a fishbowl full of blue stuff. They can't wait. <laughs> I'm going to Vegas this weekend. Do you ever play Vegas? I'm playing the Mirage July 8th and 9th. I can't you, believe it. Yeah, that's, about a, that? that's the big deal. Yeah, what that's, are you doing out there? Where are you going? I'm, me and Jeff are going up. So it's his birthday we're going up for the weekend. Yeah? Yeah. In your pants.
Yes. In your, in your fancies, right. I think we're going to have a <laughs> sex party. Are we having a sex party? Sex yeah. party. Yes, it's that. like having a disobedient appliance <laughs> going hanging around with you. <laughs> but it's all right. Do you like Vegas? Do you enjoy I love it. Yeah, I'm yeah. good. I'm good, man. I like you gamble? Yeah, well, I, you know, uh, I, I haven't drank in a while. I give up drinking, and I, uh, you know, I didn't know you could leave the strip where there were shows. I mean, it's a whole new world. Oh, yeah, no, they have, they, there's, a, there's actually... Apparently, they've got, like, motorcycle shows and stuff like that. My wife had told me about them. I never knew. No, no, they have the whole thing. But <laughs> I never drank in Vegas. But the time, the first time I went to Vegas, I had stopped drinking. So I'd see these people drinking these foot-long things yeah, the, at, like, yeah. 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I was thinking, if I didn't know about this place, I would never have quit drinking. No, I know, I know. I would I'd just come here. And, and, I'd have come here and lived here, and I would have been amongst my yes. own type. And it, does, it, it, it doesn't doesn't help that they're free. They just keep rolling. They're around. free. They're free. Oh, it's funny. What? Shit, they're ten bucks a quarter to get you loaded all night. Not trying to tell the kids what to do. No, no. CBS <laughs> scares. Yeah. No, I. Uh... I'm, I'm horrified to find that. Have you done one of those yet? No, not yet. No, they're going to get you to do one. You, that's no, it. no, they're yeah. going to get you to do one. They'll get you to do one of those. Uh, you know, I think the show might get picked up because they hired a trainer for me. They did? Yeah, well, they want, I think they want me to stay alive for another year. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, this guy's great. He's from Romania. A Romanian trainer? Yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no, like, I, I told him, I said, I don't want, like, a L.A., how you doing, huh? You feeling good about yourself? I'll choke that Hey, out. you had me, I was in there already. No, I can't do that. Do it again, do it again. How you doing, hey, I'm yo? Let's go. No, this right. guy, this guy's straight out of, I think I, I would have to kill him with a wooden stake. This guy just, he's, I, you got something? What do you got? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, here we go. That's it's time to train. That's my trainer. Yeah, oh, really? You have a vampire the, trainer? The first day I got on a treadmill, I go, should I be wearing a heart monitor? He goes, no, if it stops, you stop. Don't worry. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, it's, it's good, though. I'm learning. I'm learning how to, you know, take care of uh, it. Are you any kind of uh, regime, any kind of target? Well, yeah, any they goal? got my... I, I just want to lose some weight and get it off my knees because I don't... You know, I, I'm never going to be a skinny guy, ever. I'm, no, but plus, I don't like fat people that lose a bunch of weight and then their head doesn't lose any weight and they just have that big... <laughs> it's like the head doesn't drain. And like, I lost 112 pounds. <laughs> I don't ever want to be that guy. You know, Drew Carey is a friend of mine. That's all, all right. I'm saying. Well, That's no, all I'm he's, saying. He's teetering. <laughs> He's teetering. Dude, I'm just, he's teetering. I, I, I run into Drew now. I'm like, teetering. hey, man, yeah. what's up? Slide him a piece of pizza. Yeah. He's teetering. Yeah, no. But yeah, I just want to take a little weight off so I can, you know, chase my kid around a little bit. He's seven. So, you know, I don't want to be that dad on the zappy with the YB Normal t shirt. Just, hey, I'm at the pocket. <laughs> Well, that in Vegas, you bet right in. Is that's that what they call it? A zappy? It's called a zappy. A zappy? That ain't zapping nothing. No, that's... <laughs> four miles an hour ain't zapping. No, no you're no. not zapping, exactly. No, but you're doing good, though, man. The show's a hit. We're very, very blessed, man. We have you. such an incredible cast and a group of people that are grateful to have work. Yeah. It's, a, it's really nice to go to our stage, man. Did you buy I, a fancy car yet? Buy I, a... I didn't buy a fancy car, but I bought a hot rod. I bought a 56 Chevy Bel Air. Nice. 350 double yeah, holly pumps. Yeah, yeah. 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 It is... <laughs> it's a car made of steel it's, right there. It's an yeah. atrocity to those people that are trying to film over there on the studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And because, also, it probably well, burns a little gas. Well, I don't care. <laughs> but they, uh... <laughs> I, I go home... You see, you see. I go home and wash those uh, Priuses out of the fender well every day. There's three yeah. or four of them caught up in the... No, but it's funny because I got to time it. You know, in the studios when they're filming, the red light goes. Right. Right. So you got to wait till the red light's off before I start it because if I don't, you know, there's that loud? some kind of dramatic scene and you just hear. <laughs> yeah. Hot. Is that the fat guy with the hot rod again? So I got to keep. Do you know what you should maybe get yourself is a motorcycle? No. Yes. No. There's nothing more attractive than a big no. man on a motorcycle. No. No. <laughs> I know myself. That would just be... I would have to do six weeks of hop hospital episodes if I was on No, this. I know. You know how I would get a motorcycle if I got that little sidecar? Well, you can get that. You know what I'm talking like the yeah, yeah, hero? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd do that. Yeah, that's cool. Well, we could ride around in that together. Well, why? All right. I'll get yeah, the hat yeah. and the goggles. I'll sit in the Are you, sidecar. You're in the sidecar I'll and I'm going to do that. I'll be like, ah! <laughs> yeah! yeah. I would do that. Uh, you know what we should do? We could what? do that.
that as a special for CBS. You could show me around America as a new citizen. <laughs> you set the sidecar and we'll drive around and you take me to places where they yeah. serve fried chicken. Yes. <laughs> and, then, and then when a car was coming at us, you could release the bolt and we'd split. Whoa, and then we'd come right back, back together again. That, and then maybe we would get jobs as painters. <laughs> <laughs> and I could say, why I certainly <laughs> do. Mm. It's, it's, it's beautiful you have an audience who got that reference. Yeah, no, that's it. The audience at home are like, I have no idea what that is, man. Bro. Yeah, yeah. No, I, Laurel and Hardy. Well, I, why, um, why not? Stan Laurel was my Abbott comedy Castell You and hero. I look like the number 10. <laughs> Certainly true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we should get jobs as painters. There's another fine mess you've gotten us into. I want to do it. I want to. We should do it. Yeah. Yeah. The drinking right. years. Uh, Stan and Ollie. The drinking right. yeah, years for lifetime. We'll do it for lifetime I'm TV. <laughs> Yeah, and then at the end of the... Well, if it's a Lifetime movie, we've got to have a wife that's angry trying to set us on fire when we go to sleep. That's what goes. There's a lot of pain. Yeah, there's a lot lifetime. of that in the Lifetime movies. I watched yeah. a Lifetime channel with my wife two weeks ago. I got a yeast infection. <laughs> so horrible. That can happen. I got me. <laughs> You're ready for Vegas, then? I'm ready. Yeah. I'm warming up. Here they come. I, uh, did you watch the Kennedys thing on the Lifetime channel? No, no I, I have not seen that. I don't yet. know if it's on Lifetime or on It's other... Reels. I think it's on Reels. Reels? Yeah. Reels. Well, I don't yeah. know. There was a big thing about that. I'm... Yeah, yeah. They're, apparently, the Kennedys were angry at the portrayal of them as yeah. slightly unscrupulous yeah. people. Yeah. Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, boy. I Why would you they think that, that we idea. were like that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no. no, no. <laughs> So, working at Warner Brothers then, eh? Yeah, That's man. where you make it. I That's used to, your old stuff. Yeah, yeah, I did the Drew Carey show over there. Yeah, we know, back it. when Drew was... Yeah. 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 I understand. It's nice over I there. I love it, man. It's yeah, great. Yeah, Burbank. I took my whole family over there uh, to see the set today. It was nice. Oh, that's Those nice. are the little things I like to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because... I like to do little it's things. It's like a white trash vacation. We just... <laughs> we all go into the souvenir store. I get 10% off of it. Nice! Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Kid went home with a Batman t-shirt. It's nice. I once, I was once there, and I went into the gym, because they have a gym there at Warner Bros. Oh, yeah, it's somewhere in near the, uh, the commissary. And the... Uh, <laughs> and I saw Carrot Top working out. Really? Yeah, but he had all the machines and he was using them humorously. <laughs> <laughs> he would get the gym equipment and suddenly make it into a kind of prop joke. Yeah. That's very strange for him. He, uh, he seems to have worked that from here up. He needs to work on them legs. Yeah, that's oh. right, yeah. Looks I'm going to see him at the weekend in Vegas. Tell him I said hi. No. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, yeah. When we did open mic night together, and this was back in Florida, we had a big open mic night. It was me, him, Daryl Hammond, uh, Larry the Cable Guy before he was Larry the Cable. Right. Okay. We had a bunch of. He was just Larry. Then. Yeah, Larry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, but but Carrot Top would come in and he'd set his stuff up on the stage, and we would steal a couple things out of the trunk. <laughs> but we wouldn't tell him, and then we'd watch him go ha 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 ha. Yeah. <laughs> But he's a good kid. Yeah, no, he's, he's nice. Uh, we still do that when he comes here with the prop truck. Yeah, he Why sets not? up the trucks, we steal a couple of things, then just put, and you lose, sucker. Uh, <laughs> a little note. Well, most comics, you go up, you tell them, say, do 10, do 50. We tell them, go do half a trunk. <laughs> but, uh, All right, well, we're out of time, Billy. Uh, awkward right. pause, so, Muslim. I would love one. What, what? Awkward pause, Muslim? I or would love an awkward pause. Awkward pause? Yes. You've, what happened to you, man? You used waiting. to be a mouth organ, I've dude. been waiting. All right. Then. All right. <laughs>
Billy. Yes, oh, sir. You look great, man. I do. I lost, yeah, uh, lost 25 pounds. You did? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. That wasn't my choice. It wasn't your choice? Oh, uh, we're a hit, so they're trying to keep me alive. Only to syndication. Sure. After that, I'll you'll be do whatever I want. your own man. <laughs> now, how are things working out with Ashton Kutcher? Uh, I, you know what? Uh, I got to see the preview uh, of the uh, show, uh, the premiere the other night. Well, he, uh, he's not on your show, too? No. No, not yet. Did you hear something? No, I just thought oh. that he was going to be on your show, and he was going to be on this show, and he was know. going to be on Dave's show, and he was on Hawaii <laughs> Five-O. He's, I'll tell you what, man. Hard not to like that kid. Yeah, he's very, very, very likable. He's kid. good. Yeah, Hard not he, to I, I saw the premiere. He, he spends a lot of the uh, the show with his clothes off. Yeah, I don't have to worry about that. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll be After watching like, a lot. Can we get a jacket on him? No, no. <laughs> Two and a half men, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Mike and Molly get married, Dan? Well, we got engaged at yeah. the end of the year last year. Well, and then you so, got up the ante. So they get married this one and have kids in the next one. Then. I don't know. I think I, I'm going to probably screw up the wedding plans for about a year. Yeah. And, yeah, that'd and, be uh, about right. And Yeah. And then, uh, well, you know, they, I, they got me... Uh, but then the wedding will be for the season finale, sure. Well, I don't know. They don't tell us more than a week in advance. Like, they only tell us Thursday what we're going to be doing that week. It's very how, how, do you, how do you get on, on top of all the lines and remember all that stuff they, if they're changing them so fast? Fear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Terrified I'm going to lose my job. Are you still doing stand-up? I am. I am doing stand-up. I, I was out all week, and what a difference, man, to be able to go out. All those Mike and Molly fans fill the theater yeah, now. And yeah, yeah, It's no longer so where were you, 82 where were you people doing? on Green Bay, <laughs> some owner going, hey, don't get in front of the nacho machine. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, in fact, I got a, a stand-up date coming up Monday uh, at the Alex Theater for a group called We Spark, which uh, they take, uh, they give free care to cancer patients and their families so that they can help them through wow. the ordeal. It's at the Alex Theater in Glendale. In Glendale. If you should be out there, we'd love to come, well, yeah, come so out and see our support. Help us out. What about, uh, you know that the only Scottish restaurant I've ever seen in America is also in Glendale? No, I did not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Probably want to go along to the theater then. Yeah, anyway, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe make a hey, reservation on, Scottish, and go to the show. No, Scottish food is pretty good, you know. Uh, that, sure. Some of it. Just add ice. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Uh, what have you been up to then over the summer? Are you doing stand up? Did you go back east? I did. I went back east. I, I did. Uh, I did toured, and uh, I got to hang out with my kid all summer. And tell you, he's he's in love with first class. Nice. <laughs> He's eight years old, and, uh -oh. he's, and, and this, i got to slow it down with him, because I think I was 35 before I rode in first class the first time yeah, in my life, yeah, and yeah. Then it was on some miles, I, you know, I, or, I, or I, I got bumped up, yeah, and then you, they give you the dirty look like you're not you usually You don't really belong here, yeah. yeah. But my kid's taken right to it, man. I looked over, and he's sitting cross-legged. He's got his headphones on with the iPod, and he's got his little soda there, and the, <laughs> the stewardess comes by, and he goes, can't you? <laughs> Gotta slow yeah, them yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could be preparing a monster yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll slow them down. Dangerous. Yeah, that's dangerous. Right. But did you do it? Where were you back east then? What town? I went. I went. Uh, let's see. I did uh, Chicago. Yeah, I did nice. Green Bay. Did Philly. Did Atlanta. Philly, did you go for the uh, the Geno's and Pat's cheesesteak debate in Philly? Yes. <laughs> well, you know the big thing about Philly is that. What, what's that mean? I think they're following me. No. <laughs> Look, it's the huge debate in Philly. Is it, do you go to Gino's? Pats or Gino's? Yeah, and they're across the street, and they both yeah. do uh, cheesesteaks. Yeah, it's and a war. Go, yeah, I'm a Gino's fan. I'm a Gino's fan. Oh, that's interesting. And I got to, I got to meet the owner and his son, and uh, yeah. there's actually one booth in Gino's. I wouldn't know. I've never been in there. I got to go and sit in there and, at the booth. Really? Because I'm fact. usually over at Pat's. Oh. <laughs> well, it was good talking with yeah, you, Yeah, no, I've, I've never been. I've, I've only been over to there once, and I didn't want to go to both places you the can. same night. You, you can't. Keep, you can't do that. It's, so it's like Jameson or Bushmills, one or the oh, other. Oh yeah, I've done that. Yeah, me yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> Jamesons or Bushmills the yeah. same night? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jamesons, Bushmills, cocaine, crystal meth, nice. crack pipe. Nice. nice, and that's just for lunch. That's, you don't want to get sleepy in the afternoon. <laughs> 
So, uh, so you like Geno's then? That's great. I do. That's my place, and it was great to be back east. You know, people love the show. They come up and they say, it's a "Good show." It's you know, yeah, that's a good show. It, they say they you know, there's somebody for everybody in that show, and uh, and of course our girl won the gold the other night. Yeah, no, she's she's, she's terrific. Amazing. She? Yeah, I saw her in the uh, amazing in the bridesmaids movie the other night. She stole that movie too. Yeah, that's uh, when yeah. she does that scene talking about the heat from her undercarriage. Good amazing. lord, she's amazing. Good lord, super super funny yeah, lady yeah, yeah. and so gracious. I thought her speech when she won the Emmy was incredibly genuine, and it's a real reflection of who she is. Right. Yeah. She's do you really do you uh, do you think that the, your friendship's going to survive renegotiation? I don't know. She hasn't talked to me since she won it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure she's just busy. Yeah, she'll be she'll be busy with stuff. Her, she'll her call. publicist will probably call you. <laughs> no, she's she's been amazing, man. She's well, just, she's careful, an example man. of grace. You've got to be she's careful really been... as the show's be a huge hit. You yeah. know, things are going to have to change. You're going to have to become much more of a of a you know unpleasant character than you I are now. Was, I think it was good that that she won the Emmy because she's so graceful uh, mm. and so kind. You know, if I'd have won it, it might have been a little different. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, you I would have mounted it on the hood of my car. Just, <laughs> I, what are you driving? <laughs> I uh, get a Cadillac. I mean, where else would yeah, you Yeah, yeah, you got to put it on a Cadillac. Yeah. I was going to say, you put that thing on a Prius, you won't move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's silent. There's also no engine no, in it. That's why it's silent. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. You don't have one of them Priuses, do you? No, no. I have a Cadillac, and then I bought a hot rod. I bought a 56 uh, Chevy Bel Air. Oh, hello. Yeah. yeah, that's not... Well, I'm white trash. You give me money, I'm going right to the car lot. That's <laughs> all I can do about that. I like cars. I have uh, an old 442 I always oh, wanted. Yeah, what year yeah. is that? Convertible. I don't have one. What I just year would like... you want? 69, 70? Well, what, what should I get? 69, 70. 69 for the 442. That's, that's good. It's got that little thing. Yeah, convertible, yeah. yeah. Very nice. Okay. All right. Yeah, how much should I pay for that? Then? If it's totally restored... About thirty thousand dollars. Good lord, man! Are you crazy? <laughs> For a car? Well, or get one, get one that is is just. The, you just get the frame or maybe the engine and you know, do that for like eight grand and then build it a piece at a time. Like the Johnny Cash song? One, one piece, piece at a time, time and what right. costs me a dime. Exactly. I don't know. We have to take a commercial break. Are you familiar right. with that? Yes. It's a, it's a. We stop the show and then we show you some commercials. That's, yeah, we're going to sell some soap. Let's... No, on this show we don't sell soap. No, no. Boner pills. That's ah, yeah. Ooh, la, la. Welcome back, everybody. We were talking about cars there. I think I swore on the break there. Did you? I don't know. I haven't cussed the whole show. Have you noticed that? You know why? Why? CBS cares. CBS does care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm swearing in here. Yeah. Um, so, so, you know about cars? You can do up cars yourself then? Are you no, handy with that? I mean, I got a couple of buddies that are gearheads. You know, I, I like to uh, check the oil, the transmission, and tighten a bolt and think I know about cars. But I got yeah. some buddies that actually know how to do it. When, so you go to buy a car, when you go to buy a car, do you go into the lot and kick the tires? No. Is that bad? Because every time I do that, they're like, oh, God. Yeah, keep I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I kick the tires and they go, yeah, tires look good. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think when you do that, the, the salesman starts salivating. Yeah, yeah. So they know you don't More money. More. Yeah, he knows nothing. Do you, are you any? Are you good in other areas of manliness? Then can you do home uh, improvement stuff? No, 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 no. I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a street corner kid. I have no desire. You sell drugs? Uh, well, I don't want to say that. Right, right. I, I was always a, I was always a, uh, like, I, I did street corner stuff. Like, we were always hanging on a corner. It was always gambling or always stuff like that. Do you still go? I wasn't, yeah, a little, a little it's my wife. <laughs> um, yeah, no, nah, a little bit. I put a little wager here once in a while, but I, uh, I, was, I was never a guy that wanted to fix something. Um, my wife is from the South, so she's part redneck. She likes to fix stuff. <laughs> I don't want to fix anything. I want to get a guy that'll fix it and then go about my yeah, business. Yeah, then go about your business. So, so when you gambled, you go to, you go to Las Vegas? I love Vegas. Yes. Oh, do you really? I'm a big fan. I like to play craps and I like to play roulette. and uh, Roulette? That's a fool's game, man. You're kicking the tires on the car lot right there. I actually kicked the roulette wheel. Yeah? No. I, I, do, I actually do pretty well. I stay with the same five numbers. That's why. Oh, well, that's, uh, you're going to be rich. Same five. Clearly. Uh -huh. 
Every now and then that web catches, and, and I do I do better than I do. Uh, I, I win more than I lose. Do you know what I, I, I like about the roulette table, though? When you stand there, you can pretend you're a Bond villain. That's why. Yeah. Well, that's exactly where I learned roulette was the original chance. That's right, because they, they would go around. They would and always go see. 17 yeah, sure. and win. <laughs> So I tried. It, right, play it again. Play it again. Yeah, play it again. Seventeen again. Why? <laughs> and then the guy See, with the it's iPad. Fun to do that. Yeah, yeah. The guy with the you iPad. You should do that. But I should sit across from you. And go. Very good, Mr. Bond. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> See, last yeah, time, yeah. last time we were Lauren Hardy. This time we were Bond and Goldeneye. Goldeneye, you say? See, really? That's the care. Well, yeah, I got to be the fat villain. <laughs> It's the guy that's always like nose breathing. The, 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 larger, the larger one was uh, this gold finger. Gold finger. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Gold knife. Gold knife was a little later. Pierce yeah, Brosnan. yeah, it was Pierce Brosnan. Trying to hold on to it. Yeah, no. He, he missed his a, window. He don't, no, Pierce Brosnan's all right. He's okay. He's okay. Yeah, Sean, Sean Connery. Connery. Yes. Uh, <laughs> then uh, Roger Moore. Roger Moore. And then I got to go Daniel Craig. I like, I like what he's done with it. I think he's pretty, It's a little not he's, enough he's, body he's, hair he's for more, me, but I see where you're going. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. My wife, my wife and I went to see that, and there's the, the scene where he gets up out of the ocean. Yeah, come on. And it's just him wearing his little hammock. Mm. And <laughs> my wife, I think she, she didn't know she did it, but I loud she goes, "That's a man." I was like, "All right, all right, all right." Well, it's funny that same scene when he when he walked out of the water, yeah. where like that, I thought that's a gay dolphin. That's what I. <laughs> But I do like him. He's like he's, he's dark. Good. He's, he's dark good. like the the original book. Was. Yeah, that's right. No, he's twisted. got the, the uh, Roger Moore was too funny. That kind yeah. of uh, too funny. and then uh, who was after that Roger Moore? Well, uh, we had Timothy, Timothy Dalton. Dalton. He was okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pierce, yeah. Bronson. Pierce Bronson. I think he missed his window. Yeah. There was too much Remington Steel residue left over. Do you know that's no slang for a sex act? What Remington Steel? No. <laughs> it's I've not. I've been married it's... for twelve years. I don't All even right. know what a sex act is. All right. <laughs> Talk. It's actually not, what but I know that if I say that, it'll keep the censors busy for the rest <laughs> of the night. <laughs> They're looking up a Remington steel right now. Oh, it's there. You better look it up. So it's, it's really dirty. So, so that's like a, that's like a, one of those the angry pirate. Or the yeah, the, uh, the angry pirate is that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know those little, the musical instrument ones and stuff. It's yeah. just filth. It is filth. I don't think any of them actually happen. I think just people just make them up to say dirty stuff and enjoy themselves. Uh, Much like the show. Yes, uh, exactly. Yeah. Really right, Billy, we're out of time. So what do you want? Uh, uh, got... Well, can I say, can please watch Mike and Molly Monday? That's our premiere. Yeah. Can I just put that in there? Yeah, 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 fine. There you go. All right. Uh, <laughs> So we got, what do you, got? you got a bunch of stuff since I've been gone. The, the, you didn't have glittery balls last time I was here. I've been to Vegas. Uh, no, I, the, here, you here are your options. You've got an uh, awkward pause. Uh, you've got a mouth organ. Or you can go for the big cash prize. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. No, you like to gamble, don't you? Do. All right, well, here's the big cash. You want to go for the big cash prize? I think I might try the big cash prize. Big cash prize. All right. All right. Here's the prize. 50 bucks in singles. Okay. Yeah. In singles, so it looks like you've been to a strip club, right? <laughs> it's the buffet he's it's talking the about. It's the buffet I'm talking about. <laughs> the hell? All right, here's now, what's the, uh, the cash. Price? All right, it's one question. You have to answer one question, and uh, you know, if you get this right, you get fifty bucks. If you get it wrong, mm -hmm. you don't. Do I got to give you fifty if I get it wrong? No, no, you just you, you just go. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, here's the question. You ready? Yeah. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. The capital city of Iceland is Reykjavik, right? Sure. Okay. Can I go back to the glitter? No, 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 no. So here comes the question, right? You, you understand Iceland? I got you. Reykjavik, capital Reykjavik is the, the capital. capital of Iceland. Yes. Okay, how tall is Regis Philbin? <laughs> Five five. Five five is the correct answer. Fifty dollars, Billy Gardner. Please welcome Billy Gardner.
Good, man. You're looking good. Yeah, I'm doing all right. You know you're looking bad and all right. You're kind of like, you dropped I lost. I lost the chin. Yeah. How, how, how much weight you lost? About 45 pounds. What the heck? Da, 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 why, why are you da 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 in them? Because they're keeping me alive because the show's ahead. I don't. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's that's. No, I'm true. doing good. I'm. Do They've been very gracious. Over be that. careful though. Be careful. Though, I right? won't do it. We you talked know, about. Yeah. It. Don't know. Don't no. go Drew Carey on. No, me, I right? won't. I won't. No, I'm all. I'm always going to be a big guy. I don't want to be the big fat guy that loses weight and then has that giant head. That's. That's, that's, that's pretty funny though. That is pretty funny. I don't want to. Are you going to lose more? I'd like to lose about another 30 just for my knees, and then I'm good to go. 30 from your knees or well, for your knees? Four. Four, yeah, yeah, four, yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, that's remarkable. How do you do it? You, you, I, uh, I got a, a trainer. They got me a trainer there. He's this uh, little Russian guy named Christy. And, uh, What's funny about a little Russian guy? What the hell? He's, like, really stocky and just yeah. has no emotions, which I respond to. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, <laughs> Because I couldn't get, like, an L.A. trainer. I didn't want some guy, hi, Billy! You know, I'm going to choke him up. But uh, this guy's great because... Does he make he just, you uh, drink the wheatgrass and stuff? I think he hangs from the corner at night in his room somewhere until he's ready to train me is what I think. Oh, really? Yeah, he's, he's got that kind of Romanian. vampire. Oh, Romanian? Romanian? Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's got that... Whoa. Yeah, he's got now that it's weird... time to drink. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. And he has, he's got that weird sense of height and smell. Like, did you eat spaghetti yesterday? Don't lie to me. <laughs> yeah, I did. You will do the treadmill. You know? Yeah. So, but he's really been great, man. He's, he's got Wait, me started. Wait, what is this thing? You will do the what treadmill. What is that thing? That's the, remember when we were kids, that's the matinee. You'd always see the van, you know. Yeah, but I used more. to do that, but what's that, no, man? That was, that was when he really put, that was like Abbott and Costello. Oh, he yeah, really you, put it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, know, the now, now vampires, you know, they're out in the daylight. Yeah, they got they, moose. Yeah. I don't know what the hell's they're going like, on. Vampire. I don't really know if I'm ready for a relationship. Yeah, that's, that's what a vampire nah, sounds that's, like. No, that's, that's not. I don't know. I'm, that's feel, I'm right. afraid of commitment. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. It's awful business. Yeah, exactly. I'm upset by it. What are you doing for the summer then? You off? I'm doing nothing, man. I, uh, my wife and I bought a house uh, last this January. A house, you say? Are you going to renovate it by any chance? No, I'm, I'm oh, not okay. doing any of that. I, uh, it's I, just, I, I, whenever I watch talk shows and people buy a house, I think, oh, no. here comes an anecdote. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm the guy that's like, uh, I, I'm a get a guy guy. I don't, I'm not. Well, it's just go, you go get, get a guy, the guy to whatever the get a guy. Of, the guy to I'm do. going to fix your house. <laughs> Over here is where the bats go. <laughs> yes. I'm going to use a lot of curtains. So you're, moving, in, you're moving into a new I'm, house? I gotta, we got a home, and I don't want to go anywhere. Everybody keeps talking about summer in and where they're well, going. Well, it's the time I'm of going year. going out in the backyard, man. That's it. <laughs> I waited 42 years to have a backyard. I'm going out in my backyard. Go out in your backyard, yeah, all right. See what different kinds of meat I can char on my grill. That's all I'm doing. I do like to cook up. But yeah. you have, have you ever tasted the most delicious meat of all? <laughs> ferret? I don't know. <laughs> no, I've, I've not had ferret. You're going to have to come it up. It is, they ferret. say, millionaire's chicken, they call it. Is that what it is? Is that the stuff? <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Millionaire's chicken. Ah, oh, I tell you, it's a, I've never <laughs> eaten fair. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Oh, God. Yeah. Who knows? Back when I drank, I don't know, whatever was warm at about 2.30. <laughs> You ever, you ever do that? When, you know when you're like, uh, you know, you, you, you know, you're younger, you're out, you're partying, you come in about 2.30, and you, you don't know what leftovers are in the fridge. You just kind of put them on a plate and play spin the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> Heat it up, need it. Yeah. yeah, we'll go with this. <laughs> nah, nah. I, so what kind of a meat do you cook up in the... What are you doing with your tie there? Nothing. I like to, I like to straighten my tie. That's my nervous habit. Thanks for pointing it out. Anyway. <laughs> Seems to me a kind of stupid habit, if you don't mind me saying so. I like I like playing with my tie too. I like owning a tie. Yeah, I like having I'm a tie. Excited about yeah. that. Yeah, no ties are good. Yeah. Do you pick your own ties, or do you have a team of a fleet of CBS no. tie pickers? <laughs> no, I'm. <laughs> no, I'm uh, my, I uh, I asked my wife if it matches, and she says yes. I go. <laughs> it, it does match. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, well, yeah. I ask her. You're right. <laughs> One of, the, one of the perks, one of the perks of being married. Also, it's one of the rules of being married. It is one. Of, you can. Yeah, you can't yes. go out and have a tie because you know sometimes if I wear stuff, my wife sees it. Yeah. We're ready to go out. She'll go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I get? I get all the way to the front door sometimes, and she'll go, "Try again." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Commercial break time then. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, 
Get we... back into the middle. Yeah, yeah. Get see. back in the middle. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> What the hell you want? I'm talking to my friend. It's a joke. Come on in. See old Sinatra line? How'd all these people get in my room? How come I ended up with such a crappy room? <laughs> We're moving to a bigger studio. Where are you moving to? At, right next door. It's, Can I come over to that? Yeah, yeah, you like it. It's it's crap, but it's bigger crap. I'll come by. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes it better nice. in some way. Yeah. Yes. Can't believe you're not going on vacation. No, I'm going to my backyard. I yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to just, you know, I'm getting to know. No, you're going to go back east. Go back east for a little while. Nah, I'm going to go back to Pittsburgh once this summer. I want to go home and take my kid back here for a Pirates game. And uh, there's an amusement park. You should go, park go, go to your go. Uh, Kenny, Kennywood. Go, go to your old high school or something like that and say, hey, hey, uh, I'm a big shot now in Hollywood. That's great. People love when you do that. No, nah, not. In <laughs> Not in my city. <laughs> they, it will endear you to the locals uh, to go that, back that, and go, hey, remember I used to live here? Well, now I'm rich, and I cook uh, ferret in my backyard. Ferret. <laughs> no, if I, uh, if I went back to Pittsburgh, they'd be the first to offer a free beatdown for acting like that, so yeah, yeah. I won't be doing that. <laughs> free beatdown, eh? Free beatdown. That's a free beatdown. Hey, you want to go to Pittsburgh this That's summer, right. Jack? There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's always looking for a beatdown. Is he? Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's the kind of... <laughs> I don't think it's the kind of beat down you're thinking of, Jeff. Oh, hell. <laughs> Billy, we're out of time. What do you fancy? Uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, or do you want to go for the big cash prize? I want to go for the big cash prize. What time oh, is it, Sean Steven? Time for the big cash prize. Big cash prize. This is how it's done. $50 in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it, just like the burglars actually use. Two ways to win. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I think of something in my head which is in a box. I don't know what's in it, though. Uh, the box, I mean. Jeff is the only one who knows what's in the box. And then you try and guess. And then if you're right, great. And if you're not, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to go for the box in your head. Really? You really yeah, going to do I, that? I think so, yeah. Nobody ever goes for the box. Go for the box. All right, go for the box. <laughs> All right, uh, hang on a second. <sighs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> All right, I've imagined a box. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's in it. Okay. What's in the box, Billy? <laughs> I'm going to say a request for more vacation time. <laughs> well, it, it, well, on a piece of paper, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Why would I need a box? For Wait, me? no. All right. I, I was thinking of Jeff's head. <laughs> ah, you, you went the wrong way. I see. I know what's in it. What's in the box, Billy? It's a fresh plate of ferret. <laughs> <laughs> all right. First of all, if that's true, and I don't know if it is, but if it is, it's a joke. <laughs> Jeff, what is in the box? The correct answer is ferret fricassee. Ferret fricassee! What's up, my friend? Hey, Belly, you look great, man. You, you dropped right. even more weight. Uh, I'm doing all right. You're wasting away. It's getting oh, yeah, a little too I can much. I hardly see myself. No, I'm, I mean, seriously, you I'm dropped doing right. more. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Are you working out, though, because you're getting kind of like. Mm, mm. I don't have to take a deep breath before I tie my shoes. That's great. Nice. <laughs> it's a little you know what I'm amazed at in the clip as well? You have the ability to make your tummy grumble it's, at any time you want. Special effects. Special effects. <laughs> Although it does that most of the day. If you whisper, they can hear. <laughs> Sometimes they can hear what you're thinking. Yes, even. I know, I know, I know. Watch this. Jeff can translate what I'm thinking in my mind, even although I'm not saying anything. Okay. Like for uh, as an example, I know what college kids like. They like they like jumping rope. Yeah. <laughs> now listen, did you can, go? Can to, he do that for me? He might be able to. Oh, yeah, oh. let's give it a go. I can't believe I'm on this show again. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. That guy's good. That is spectacular. <laughs> did, you go to, did you go to college? No, I drove by a college once. Oh, yeah. 
Which one was it? Was that that I one that these kids in Virginia? It, it, uh, no, it was a blur. I was doing a gig. I got loaded at a frat house, and for they pa I passed out, and they all signed me with Sharpie markers. <laughs> it's my only college experience. <laughs> That's that's the kind of education you need if you're a stand-up, well, though. Yeah, no, that's all right. They don't teach that, you know. Well, they, you know, they don't charge you for it. <laughs> they, uh, what about um, what about doing the the road stuff? Are you out doing stand-up? I all? was. I was out uh, uh, New Year's week. I did uh, Spokane, Washington, then I did Reno, then I did Bethlehem, PA, and then I finished in Atlantic City at the Borgata for New Year's Eve. Oh yeah, I've been there. Beautiful, right? Oh yeah, 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 Borgata. Yes, and New Year's Eve. Oh yes, yeah. You know what, you know what I love is is I walk in now and they go, Mr. Gardell. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, I don't know who you mean. You, no. Usually it's, what are you doing in here? Get out yeah. of here. <laughs> so, hey, big time. This yeah. ain't for you. This is for showbiz yeah. guys. So it's, yeah, been, yeah. It's, been, it's been very nice. With The Mike and Molly fans have been incredible. We've been doing theaters like 1,800, 2,000 people. Do you do, do, you do uh, uh, cuss words in your stand-up? I do a little bit. Not a whole lot. Just enough to keep the kids' attention. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, because what the college kids really yeah. do like, and this is yeah. true, is they like you to cuss and be all irreverent. Well, you got to... Well, I'm, I'm too tired and old to be angry. Mm. I'm at that point now, you know what I mean? Oh, no, I can still muscle some up. Well, yeah. yeah, but it's a different kind of anger. You know, after 40, you're just like, you know, ah, my neck hurts. That's yeah. all you're mad about. <laughs> But, you know, you, you, do, you do your act, and if you get some young people in there, you throw a, a salty word. Yeah, yeah. And then they look up from the texting, and they go... Yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> that, what the heck darn is going on down yeah. there, little melon farmer? <laughs> <laughs> that gets their attention. Exactly. But you've got a kid now, haven't you? You've got I a... do, I do. My little guy's sick right now. And, oh, uh, flu? Yeah, he's got like a little sinus infection, yeah, and double ear infection. And poor, poor little you dude. just wish you could do it for him. Yeah, I know. Let yeah. me be sick for you. He can. And I'm such an overcompensating parent for what I didn't have. He's like, can I get a Lego? I'm like, you go to the store and you get the biggest Lego. You, have. <laughs> you get a city, buddy. Whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Be better. yeah that, that's the way to, to raise a perfectly balanced sure, good human being. Sure. Right there. Why not? Give them anything they want. That's it. No, thank me. Yeah, man. yeah. Yeah, that, that's the way to get them on reality TV <laughs> just as fast as you can. <laughs> what about it? I mean, I think about it. I have two boys. I think, you know, I, uh, what would I do if they wanted to be on TV? Like, I'd be like, why? You know. Yeah. What, but, but what would you think if you're... Well, you're, you know, they should just want you to retire. <laughs> I think... I think more than my kids want me to retire, you know, I think. I know, I know that my son doesn't want to be in TV because he knows he's loved. Usually when yeah, you're in entertainment, true. there's yeah. a lot of look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. But my son knows he's loved because I'll ask him, do you want to be an actor like daddy? He's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I said to my son once, do you want to do a TV show like daddy? He said, I wouldn't mind doing a TV show, but not like daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But Although you know, he does have a little bit of the comic gene in him. He has a little bit of the comedic Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's coming out in ways that... What, sadness? Uh, uh, no, he drinks a lot? No, no, uh, that, uh, that part we're omitting, I hope. Uh, no, he's just he's kind of quick-witted, you know, and, and I like that, so... Do you, have, you find yourself saying stuff like, like your own parents did? Because I found, like, you know, I say to my, my, both my kids, don't make me come over there. Yeah. Like, I can't believe yeah. I'm now that guy. It's just like, well, well, don't I, make me come over there. I, I never thought I'd be a, a father, let alone have a house. Yeah. And now that's the thing. When I come home, it's like, who turn these lights off? Who has all these lights on? Yeah. You know, like, uh, they don't even listen, you know? And he's yeah. got like nine of his buddies over all the... We're like that house. My wife has like five ducks following her every Friday. They all come in the house, and then I just wander around going, who bumped that? Somebody bumped that, and no one's leaving until I find out yeah, who yeah, bumped that's that. Right. Yeah. yeah, you can't do that, man. You got to be careful. With other people's kids, you can't yell at them. No, that's not like when we grew up. The yeah, neighbor no. could beat you. Yeah. <laughs> And then you got beat at home for getting beat at the neighbor's house. When I went, it was a better country, Craig. <laughs> you know what? I remember going home from school and being yeah. beaten by the teachers and saying to my mother, yeah. I, got, I got, they belted me at school. And she was yeah. like, well, what did you do? What did you, you do? do? Yeah, yeah like, guilty. I, I, you know, I inadvertently stole something by accident. <laughs> And then you were right. You get belted for that's. Right. Then you just didn't talk about it. It's no. just, it's uh, it's not the way to. No, you, you live in that shame like a good Catholic. Yeah. You just said it. <laughs> well, see, I I was raised a Protestant. Right. Yeah, and I think it's pretty much the same as a Catholic, except well, you know there's the no statuary. Do you know the yeah. difference between? <laughs> you know the difference between the Catholics and the Protestants? Uh, no, you tell me. Two blocks. <laughs> most of right the time. Yeah, yeah. Most of the time. <laughs> 
whatever bar you go to. <laughs> Do you know what? There was a time, though, you could get in a lot of trouble for sure. saying that. Sure, absolutely. Probably, this might be... The hustle and grind, I carve my path. Each step forward in aftermath. Dreams pulsate within, fueling my fire. With determination to blaze, I never tire. Day by day, I chase the gleam. In the labyrinth of life, I crack my scheme. I'll nurture my aspirations, let them thrive In the symphony of ambition, I'll strive Rise up and showcase your might Show them what you want They say us take flight We'll scale the peaks, reach the zenith's height Together we'll ascend, never falter, never slight In the face of adversity, we stand tall With grit and valor, we heed the call No setback too great, no hurdle too steep we're the architects of our destiny, the dreamers who leave. So let's rise, let's soar, let's defy the limits imposed, reach for the sky. With unity as our strength and courage as our guide, we'll conquer the horizon side by side. Be that time, actually. <laughs> Before we go any further, CBS, CBS cares. <laughs> All right, good luck with Mike and Molly. Belly Garden. Thank you, my friend. Right. I'm doing good. No, you look great. I man. lost a little more weight. Yeah, you have yeah. lost a little more. It's I'll, kind of uh, it's off you. for another season. I'm trying to stay yeah, alive. Congratulations, you. That's another. That's like uh, season twelve. Done? Season. Oh God, willing, I'd do it till they evicted me. No, uh, I. Uh, we're on season five. We're season five. That's the money one. Yeah. Yeah. Five years? Now, you, you'll be doing it four years, you're going to start the fifth year, right? Yeah, yeah, we're going into the fifth. And you know, season five on a sitcom, that's like catching a unicorn, so I'm very grateful. <laughs> Do you know the unicorn is the national animal of Scotland? No, but I believe you. It's true. <laughs> it is absolutely true. It, it's, it's a pretend animal, and it's the national animal of Scotland. I'm going to hear from people now, though, who say it's not a pretend animal. A lot of Guinness over here. A lot, a lot of Guinness, Guinness. Yeah, lot of Guinness. yeah. Guinness in Ireland, though, yeah. really. You no, know we should have what? a unicorn. We should have a unicorn. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Your days are numbered. <laughs> That's it. Young people want a horse with a horn on his head. <laughs> you... Oh, it's not a real horse. Knock it off. <laughs> hey, so you're still doing stand-up, though. So you're not really sure that this sitcom thing's going to work out. Still doing the stand-up. Well, I still have that panic, yeah, that it yeah, could yeah. go away at any minute. Who are you so. playing in Nashville? Zanies? I'm in Nashville at Zanies this week for the, the uh, Vince Vaughn Wild West Comedy Tour. And then we're doing a benefit for a friend of mine who passed away. Uh, me, Ron White, Kathleen Madigan. We're going to get together and do a, a benefit right. for his kids for their college fund. If you're in Nashville, join us there. At Zanies? At, uh, no, no, we're doing, that's, uh, it's a theater. Oh, I should, well, I should probably know the James K. Pope Theater, that'll be it. Probably know. I did a special we're, in that one. Yes, yeah, so you did. Yeah. I did, yeah. Oh, well. I, I gave a special. I was working in a massage parlor. Ah. And, uh... <laughs> no, I... No, I did. I love Nashville. That's a great town. You know that yeah. town? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You ever go down Broadway thinking oh. about what it'd be like if maybe you were a country singer? No. But I, the thing about those southern towns is it's all the same. There's, there's a bar every four feet with a church in between them. <laughs> so the system down there is I'm drunk, I'm sorry, I'm drunk, I'm sorry. That's like... Uh, all right. That's like, uh... He doesn't like anybody being funnier than him. No, 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 no. No, it's not that. It's Very the clapping. Sorry. It's the clapping against me. It makes me feel weird. I'm like, knock it off. I don't, I don't mind the laughing. The laughing's fine, but the clapping feels like the, the hand version much. of this. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> See what I mean? You know yeah, what I mean? It's, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I don't know. Do you know, have you ever seen that? You're well, married, right? Have you yes. ever seen this? When your wife talks to a woman that she, she's not really keen on, but she, for oh, social yeah. reasons, has to pretend yeah. she is. She goes, oh, hi, it's great to see you. Yeah. And does that thing? The eyes. The eyes go yeah, down. Yeah, it's like. Or you get these eyes, you get these, you go, huh. Yeah, yeah, that one's what? <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. Yeah. 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 yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. You're not kidding. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, still doing stand-up, though. That's good. I like that. I, I think I like to get out there. I love it still. I, I love doing stand-up. You do crowd work. You don't just go out with, like, no material. And no, just, like... I've never been a guy that was quick enough to do that. Like, really? you're a guy that's quick enough to do I'm not. I write it all out, and then if you heckle me, I say vicious, ugly things to you. <laughs> I, I think that's what stand-up's all about. The opportunity to say vicious, ugly things to... Oh, yeah. Stand-up's about entertaining people more than... Yeah, that's right. I did a movie. I did my first movie. Stop it. What, yeah, what did you do? I, I did a little movie. It's, uh, we, it was a low-budget movie. Was, uh, it's me and a German shepherd, and we're solving a crime. Whoa. <laughs> this might be a joke, I'm thinking. Is no, this a joke? No. No. What? My kid's in private school. No. Okay. All right. I no. I, uh, no, I did. I did a little movie. It's going to come out in What's it uh, called? February. It's called Dancer and the Dame, and, uh, or as my dad calls it, Billy and Hooch. <laughs> And then, well, you saw you solve a crime. We solve a crime. You and a dog. And a dog. A I'm German talking, Shepherd. I talk to the dog every day. Like you talk to Jeff. I talk Jeff's to the dog. Jeff's Jeff's not a dog. <laughs> the dog was very good. Jeff's very good, but he's not a dog. Is it the dog that was in that movie, uh, Babe? Remember that dog? No, I don't think the dog had done anything before. That. All right, so it's a, so the dog's a first timer. Yes, yes. Yeah. I figure it worked for Tom Hanks, so I'll give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. You know the dog. You remember that movie, Babe, where yeah, the, the pig. and the the pigs in it, and the the sheep dog gives a really good performance. Yeah. That was the movie when I saw that. I went, I don't want to be an actor anymore because uh, like the dog was really good, and I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, I aspire to be as good I'll as a dog. dog. Yeah, uh, yeah. Me too, me too. You know, I, I gotta get into something else. Me too. But that dog was good. <laughs> yeah. My dog was good. It was good. Yeah? Kuja was the dog's name. Yeah? <laughs> Not Kujo, Kuja. I don't know what Kujo is. It didn't matter, it scared me too. Yeah. <laughs> What is Cujo? Yeah, it was uh, Cujo's the Stephen King where the big dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Cujo is what you want, Cujo. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want Cujo. You, do you have a dog? I don't have a dog. What's wrong with you? You hate, you hate dogs? I'm allergic. You're allergic to dogs? You did a movie with a dog? What oh, the yeah. hell is wrong with you? Well, I told you my kid's in private. Well, school. I got that. <laughs> I was eating Zyrtec like Pez. I'm like, yeah. no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Got really? You're allergic to dogs? Yeah. You did a movie with a dog? Yeah. Couldn't they get you a puppet dog for your scenes with a dog? <laughs> that's uh, also... That's the sequel. I tell you, you must be the worst detective in the world because I, that's... He's not a dog and he's not a dog. And that's twice you've mistaken. Uh, well, that's... See, that's why I needed the dog to help ah, me solve the crime. And the dog's a German Shepherd? The dog's now, a German I've got a German Shepherd. You do have uh, it. That's a fine dog. Fine dog. Yeah, it's a great dog. It's a, I got a German Shepherd, a Jack Russell, and a French Bulldog. And the German Shepherd... Who runs I, the house? The German know. Shepherd. Yeah. Really? Yeah, the Jack Russell, the Irish dog's drunk, and the, the French dog... <laughs> French dog just rolls right over. Man. <laughs> it's true. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's the way it is. <laughs> German Shepherd's like, everyone, you go over here. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Woof, woof. I said There's to someone with Chase. <laughs> I'm so, well, what about a cat? You got a cat then? Nothing. I got a fish. <laughs> I got a fish. What kind of fish? Uh, it's one, fish? No, it's one of those fish. My wife says it <laughs> reminds her of me because it's one of those fish that, like, I know you want to do a blowfish joke. <laughs> <laughs> no. It crossed no. my mind. It crossed my mind. No, it's one of those fish that doesn't play well with the other fish. Like, you got to keep it isolated or it goes nuts. That's a shark, man. No. Uh, no it's, just... it's a little shark. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They make little... How do you, they get big, though. They do, yeah. Well, we've kept him alive longer than he should have been. He should have been gone for a while, so... My wife, she keeps things alive. She kept me alive. Yeah, well... Well, we're out of time. All right. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose I should have asked you about the awkward pause, but it felt like we just slipped right I into it naturally. Natural thing. Yeah. Before I go, I got to say something, though. Oh, okay. You're the first guy that put me on late night television ever when this stuff all started. I want you to know that I'm grateful. You're fantastic. I love you. I don't know where you're going or what you're going to do, but you're fantastic and thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah.
fantastic. Right. You and awesome. Billy are just great. I mean, he's such a good guy. He's he nice, loves, isn't he? he he's here. nice. Yeah, yeah he's it's nice guy. when he comes. You know, he came here once, uh, Billy, with his. It was his aunt, uh, Aunt Sylvia, or something. Oh. Like, aunt, Ju was it? Was it Judy? Aunt Judy. Yeah, it was Aunt Judy. And. I didn't know he was coming. I just came out one night and Billy, he was in the audience with his Aunt Judy. I'm like, Billy, you work at the network. You know? <laughs> was that like, what he would do? Yeah, he was like, never, oh, like, my Aunt Judy wanted tickets. to come and we sent away and we got tickets. And I'm like, <laughs> Billy, you, you're in a primetime show. That's, but that's exactly him. Like, yeah. he would get tickets for our show and be like, I'll just sit back. It's cool. Yeah. I'm like, you're kind of honest. You enjoying the sitcom schedule because you get the summers off.